what you'll need to service your Freehub body. Smooth jaw pliers or an axle vise, a blind bearing puller, hammer, punch, bearing press with appropriate drifts, a small flat tipped screwdriver, assembly grease, Freehub grease, cassette tool, chain whip, toothbrush, and protective gloves. Your Freehub body should be removed a few times per year to be cleaned and lubricated. In this video, we will cover the complete disassembly and service of the Freehub body. Before removing your Freehub body, remove the cassette from the wheel. To remove the Freehub body, grip the body with your hand and pull away from the hub shell. The axle may pull out of the hub with the Freehub body. If this happens, pull the axle out of the Freehub body and set aside for later use. The red Freehub spacer may remain against the drive side hub shell bearing. If so, remove it and also set it aside for later use. If the axle remains in place, remove it from the shell and set aside along with the red Freehub spacer. If any of these pieces are too difficult to remove by hand, you may use an axle vise or smooth jaw pliers to remove them. Remove the co-molded seal from the hub shell with a flat tipped screwdriver. Clean the drive ring and co-molded freehub seal with isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag. Wipe excess grease from your freehub body. To remove the bearings, start by removing the rubber seal adjacent to the outboard bearing with a small flat-tipped screwdriver. Insert a 15 mm sealed bearing extractor into one of the freehub bearings. Tap the extractor and bearing out of the hub shell using a punch and hammer. Perform this step over a rag as the bearing, extractor, and inner axle sleeve will fall from the hub shell when the bearing is removed. Thoroughly clean the Freehub body bore and Freehub sleeve with isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag. Using a small flat tip screwdriver, pry the Paul retaining ring off of the Freehub body. Slide the Pauls and then the Paul springs out of their respective pockets in the Freehub body. Thoroughly clean the pawls, pawl springs, and pawl pockets in the Freehub body with isopropyl alcohol, a toothbrush, and a clean rag. Reassemble the Freehub by first installing the pawl springs and then the pawls. Apply a thin layer of grease to the bearing bore. Press the bearings in, one at a time, using a bearing press and the appropriate drifts. Bearings should be pressed in hand tight. Over tightening of the press can result in damage to the bearings. Don't forget to install the axle sleeve between the two bearings. Apply a thin layer of Freehub grease to the drive ring and Freehub pawls. Install the pawl retaining ring into its groove in the Freehub body. Small grooves and burrs from the cassette contact with the Freehub will not affect hub performance and can be gently filed down to allow easier cassette installation. Reinstall the co-molded seal into the hub shell. Reinstall the axle and Freehub body spacer. Install the Freehub body onto the axle and insert into the hub shell by gently pressing down and twisting clockwise. Lastly, reinstall your end caps.